The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Son of man, I have appointed you as watchmen for the house of Israel. When you hear a word from my mouth, warn them from me. If I say to someone wicked, evildoer, you are to die, and you do not speak to warn the wicked person to renounce such ways, the wicked person will die for this guilt. But I shall hold you responsible for the death. If, however, you do warn someone wicked to renounce such ways and repent, and that person does not repent, then the culprit will die for this guilt. But you yourself will have saved your life. In our responsorial psalm, is taken from Psalm 95. Come, let us cry out with joy to Yahweh, acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving, acclaim him with music. Come, let us bow low and do reverence, kneel before Yahweh who made us. For he is our God, and we the people of his sheepfold, the flock of his hand. If only you would listen to him today, do not harden your hearts as at Meribah, as at the time of Massa in the desert, when your ancestors challenged me, put me to the test, and saw what I could do. In our second reading is taken from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Romans. The only thing you should owe to anyone is love for one another, for to love the other person is to fulfill the law. All these you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and all the other commandments that there are, are summed up in this single phrase. You must love your neighbor as yourself. Love can cause no harm to your neighbor, and so love is the fulfillment of the law. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said, if your brother does something wrong, go and have it out with him alone between your two selves. If he listens to you, you've won back your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you. Whatever they're doing, the misdemeanor, the evidence of two or three witnesses is required to sustain the charge. But if he refuses to listen to these, report it to the community. And if he refuses to listen to the community, treat him like a Gentile or a tax collector. In truth, I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. In truth, I tell you once again, if two of you on earth agree to ask anything at all, it will be granted to you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three meet in my name, I am there among them. The Gospel of the Lord. Yeah.